Hello and welcome to Didactics Online's explanatory video of Counterstrain and Facilitated Positional Release, or FPR. With the help of Megan and Nick, we will be showing you the technique and explaining a little bit of the mechanism of Counterstrain and FPR. Counterstrain is a very effective technique for many different dysfunctions, specifically soft tissue. The great thing about Counterstrain and FPR is that you don't need to know much about the technique besides knowing anatomy. You simply shorten the muscle or soft tissue that you're working with, approximating origin and insertion in order to shorten the Golgi tendon. This, through the gait control theory, is able to reset the pain and spasm cycle and allow for a relaxing muscle and a decrease in pain. Megan will now show the technique for the piriformis muscle, a very common complaint among patients that we see. Go ahead, Nick. Nick is laying down in the prone position Megan will find a tender point on the left piriformis and establish a pain scale. Once she's located that point, she will maintain contact with that point throughout the technique. First, Megan will bring the leg off the table, both flexing and abducting the hip. The next step will act to externally rotate the hip by placing a force inferior towards the ground on the ankle while supporting the knee with her own knee. Now that she has the hip in flexion, abduction, and external rotation, she has shortened the piriformis muscle, which we are acting to treat. Now she will recheck the pain on neck. How's the pain? Reduced. So in this technique, you want a reduction of greater than 70%. So you will start with a 10 out of 10 and ask your patient at that point to make sure that you are below a 3 out of 10 at the end. Now that she has gotten to that reduction in pain, she will hold for a 90 second time period while that gait control theory is able to reset. In interest of this video, we will skip that 90 second hold and move to the next step, which is a passive return to neutral. It is very important that the patient at this point does not engage any muscles as this will cancel out any therapeutic effect. Now that Megan has returned the hip to the neutral position and maintained contact, she will recheck for the pain at this point. How's your pain? Much less. Pain has decreased. We will now show a very similar technique on the same soft tissue structure considered or called facilitated positional release or FPR. So once again, Megan contacts the point and establishes a pain scale. In the same manner, Megan shortens the muscle in order to decrease that pain by flexing, abducting, and externally rotating at the hip while monitoring at the piriformis. At this point, instead of waiting for 90, second, 90 seconds, Megan is able to apply a compressive force through that soft tissue by pressing medially on that knee. This thus shortens the muscle further with the compressive force and does not require a 90 second waiting period. After four to five seconds of compression, Megan can now return to neutral and recheck. This is a great technique that's useful all over the body. As long as you're aware of the anatomy of any of the soft tissue or muscles, you are able to treat using this technique. Please post with any comments or questions. Thank you very much. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Nick.